you make me proud. Gone for it. Six. Going all the way. Kevin Peterson began his test career looking like a rock star. That's a beautiful stroke with which to make a maiden test century. Now he gets treated like one, the bling has gone. As I say, I've settled down now as a, as a person, as a part, um, and uh, all I'm doing is just living each day, living my dream, playing international cricket and just absolutely en enjoying it and, and loving every second. The 2005 Ashes series brought success, it also brought celebrity. You can't trust a, a single soul now, you just think, and it's, it's hard. This past uh, 12 to 18 months I've had to, I've learned from a few mistakes of saying a few things I maybe should have, shouldn't have said to certain people, and nowadays I, I just stick to a, a simple rule and just trust my family and, and closest friends now, which is, which is really hard and it's sad as well in a way. He's got so much talent. More guarded off the field, but the free spirit is alive and well on it, as we've seen with his 92 in Brisbane and his century in Adelaide. Is an excellent 100. But I go out there to enjoy myself. I have to try and keep smiling because I don't like negative things. I like positive vibes. I like positive things. I like I play without fear. I just do all those kind of things because it's just a case of going out and, and having that uh, enjoyment and, and smiling. I mean, at the end of the day, a smile costs nothing. <laughs> Yeah, Kev's good to have around. Since he came into the side, you know, he's got confidence about him. Um, he's great to have around. Everything he does is for the team, and, you know, he's always working for that. Mateship is everything to KP. I've spoken to a couple of the guys who, who have missed this summer, the guys from Last Ashes, and they say it's the banter in the dressing room that you miss the most. It's just you wake up every day and you're in the dressing room, you just get abused the minute you walk through the dressing room door, and it's something that you like and it's something you take on board and something that you love, and when you don't have that, you just realise how much you you actually crave it and want it. Friends don't have to be on your team either. The opposition is the enemy in the middle, but not when stumps are drawn. At the end of the day, you're in, you're in this job for 10 years and when you're finished, you want to be able to ring a bloke up and, and, make, and, and have some mates somewhere else in the world. And you, you don't want to leave the game swearing and cursing people at 11 o'clock in the evening after games. It's just, uh, it's just ridiculous. Despite their animated exchange at the Gabba, Peterson's most celebrated friendship is with Hampshire teammate, but Ash's adversary, Shane Warne. It was just, it's one of those things where you go out there and as soon as you cross the line, it doesn't matter how friendly or whatever you are. I mean, you go out there and you're playing for your country and you're playing it at 120% for each ball, each session and, and whatever it is. And I mean, he finished as he did, I finished as I did. And um, everybody was able to have a beer at the end of the day's play. Now, that's just sport. Dreaming of the Ashes starts as a boy for Englishmen and Australians. Kevin grew up in South Africa. It's something that you watch, but it's not something that you're 100% passionate about. But when you're part of it and, you, and your existence is, is this and, and you've got to earn your money doing, doing that, I mean, it becomes very, very, very quick into your blood. Um, and it's just one of those things I've taken it on board and it's been fantastic. It's absolutely awesome. He is a latecomer to the English setup, but is essential to their cause. But it hasn't all been great catches and swashbuckling centuries. Peterson's dismissal heralded a collapse that has left England's Ashes defence in tatters. But one thing is certain, if the Ashes don't make it back to the old dart, it won't be from a lack of effort by him. I think my preparation is key for me. My preparation, my, my mental preparation, my physical preparation, hitting a certain number of balls and feeling in the groove and making sure that every single day I wake up um, for the game, I'm 120% prepared. and. What will be, what will be. Yeah, well done to Tim Gilbert there with that piece on Kevin Peterson.